Hey guys, welcome back to the Venue Youth Studio. Um, that was just a little skit on how to not be a good friend. How to be a terrible poor friend, really. And, and we're here to talk about how to be a good friend. So, Sponsored by Nature Valley. Yeah, he's eating while this is going on. We don't have much time for dinner. Um, there, okay, so in Proverbs 18.24 it says, There are friends who destroy each other, but there are real friends who stick closer than brothers. Yeah. That's good. You know, I mean, we talked about it in the last video and we're going to hit the like hit the nail on the head in this video on how to be a good friend because we think it's so important. You know, not just talking about like loneliness and boredom, but friendship is what gets you through high school people. Friendship with gays were like boringness, tough times. school, hard times. Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, thinking of others before yourself and thinking of others actually as better than yourself is a great way to be a good friend because you can't make other Wait, hold on. I'll hold on to that point. Think about others as better than yourself. Yeah. Also, we want to celebrate our friends' wins. Every yeah. time someone does well, we should be celebrating with them yeah. as it's our achievement. Right. Because we shouldn't say like, oh, Jesse, you just got a promotion at work. Wow, that's... We shouldn't say like, oh, like, oh good for you, and then kind of just slack him behind his back. Right. Um, also, <clears throat> I think someone who challenges you I think that yeah. is what creates a good friend and not just agrees with you. Right, not just agrees and, and tells you that everything you're doing is awesome, but actually says like, actually, I don't agree with that decision. I think you should rethink it, you know? Mm -hmm. Not someone who's necessarily gonna be like, you're wrong, but someone who can like lovingly challenge you and like disagree with you, you know? Yeah. Those are great friends. Um, maybe friends also that don't walk away mid-sentence or <laughs> talk about themselves when you're telling a story, you know, or have to one-up you by like a 25, five minute increments. Mm -hmm. You have those friends are like, that's not even impressive. Why would you one up me like that? You know, just always one up and <laughs> or texting while talking. Those were just like some really, if you have friends like that, mm -hmm. you gotta rethink. Those are obvious things. So, so there's a little self test. I think we can do, or you yeah. can do yourself. What do your friends do? Do they, are, do they think of you before themselves or do they just think of themselves? Mm. Um, are they celebrating your wins or are they kind of just, pretend celebrating the way. Yeah. I think you can know the difference between the two. Um, and are they challenging? Mm -hmm. I think that's what you gotta ask yourself. Yeah, yeah. So that's it, week three of our What was the point studio? though? Oh. You can't fix your friends, you can't change them, but you can change who your friends are. Absolutely. So use this test, evaluate who your friends are, and be like, you know what? I gotta upgrade my friends. The hard drive is full of viruses, they're bringing me down. I gotta get rid of them and put new friends on here. Absolutely. Like Google Chrome, it's a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> See ya.